Hello everyone, welcome to Mars again. Your huge response in previous Mars in 4K videos, inspired us to create to Mars in 4K, Update 2021 Part 3. In this video, we will see landing of Mars rover Perseverance, few of its very first high-resolution photos, and other unseen and rare footages. So, sit tight, and enjoy. This image shows, thrill of Mars Perseverance rover's landing. During landing, the rover plunged through the thin Martian atmosphere, at more than 12,000 miles per hour. A parachute and power descent slowed the rover, down to about 2 miles per hour. This is known as the sky crane maneuver, the descent stage lowered the rover on three cables, to land softly on six wheels, at Zezero Crater. This high-resolution still image, is part of a video taken by several cameras, as NASA's Perseverance rover touched down, on Mars on February 18, 2021. A camera aboard the descent stage, captured this shot. A key objective for Perseverance's mission, on Mars, is astrobiology, including the search for signs of, ancient microbial life. The rover will characterize the planet's geology, and past climate, pave the way for human exploration, of the red planet, and be the first mission to collect, and cache Martian rock and regolith. This illustration shows Zezero Crater, the landing site of the Mars 2020 Perseverance rover, as it may have looked, billions of years ago on Mars, when it was a lake. An inlet, and outlet are also visible, on either side of the lake. This is the first 360-degree panorama, taken by Mastcam-Z, a zoomable pair of cameras, aboard NASA's Perseverance Mars rover. The panorama was stitched together on Earth, from 142 individual images, taken on Sol 3, the third Martian day of the mission, February 21, 2021. The top of the butte in this scene, from the mast camera, on NASA's Curiosity Mars rover, stands about 16 feet above the rover, and about 82 feet east-southeast of the rover. Mastcam's right eye camera, took the component images of this mosaic. The site is in the scenic Murray Buttes area, where individual buttes, and mesas were assigned numbers. This one is M9A. The average slope on the prominent ridge, on the left side is more than 40 degrees, while the average slope, on the right side of the highest point is about 30 degrees. This panorama, made up of 122 individual images, stitched together, was taken by NASA's Curiosity Mars rover, on November 18, 2020, the 2946th Martian day, or SOL, of the mission. This view combines several frames, taken by the mast camera, on NASA's Mars rover Curiosity, looking into a valley to the west, from the eastern side of a dune, at the eastern end of the valley. The team operating Curiosity, has chosen this valley, as a likely route toward midterm, and long-term science destinations. The foreground dune, at a location called Dingo Gap, is about three feet high in the middle, and tapered at south, and north ends onto low scarps, on either side of the gap. The component images were taken during early afternoon, local solar time. The center of the view, is about 10 degrees south of straight west. The left edge is about 20 degrees, west of straight south. The right edge is northwest. The largest of the dark rocks on the sand, in the right half of the scene, are about 2 feet across. This panorama, taken on February 20, 2021, by the navigation cameras, or NAVCAMs, aboard NASA's Perseverance Mars rover, was stitched together from six individual images, after they were sent back to Earth. The shaler outcrop, is dramatically layered, as seen in this mosaic of telephoto images, from the right mast camera, mast cam, on NASA's Mars rover Curiosity. In some portions of the outcrop, patterns in the layering provide, evidence of stream flow. If you find this video interesting, please subscribe this channel, like, 
and share this video to inspire us to make more interesting videos. NASA's Mars rover Curiosity used its mast camera to take the images combined into this mosaic of the drill area called John Klein. The label drill indicates where the rover ultimately performed its first sample drilling. Shown on this mosaic are the four targets that were considered for drilling, all of which were analyzed by Curiosity's instrument suite. At Brock Inlier, data from the Alpha Particle X-ray Spectrometer and images from the Mars Hand Lens Imager were collected. The target Wernick was brushed by the dust removal tool with complementary APXS, MOLLE, and chemistry and camera analyzes. Target Thundercloud was the subject of the drill checkout test, known as Percuss on Rock. The target drill was interrogated by APXS, Molly and Chem Cam. This view from the mass cam on NASA's Curiosity Mars rover shows a network of two-tone mineral veins at an area called Garden City on Lower Mount Sharp. The veins combine light and dark material. The veins at this site, just to heights of up to about 2.5 inches above the surrounding rock and their widths range up to about 1.5 inches. Mineral veins such as these, form where fluids move through fractured rocks, depositing minerals in the fractures, and affecting chemistry of the surrounding rock. In this case, the veins have been more resistant to erosion, than the surrounding host rock. This scene is a mosaic combining 28 images taken with Mastcam's right eye camera. This view of a Martian rock target, called, Harrison, merges images from two cameras, on NASA's Curiosity Mars rover, to provide both color, and microscopic detail. Curiosity inspected the rock's appearance, and composition. The remote micro-imager of the rover's chemistry, and camera instrument obtained, the detail shown in the center of this view. The right eye, telephoto lens camera of the rover's masked camera instrument, obtained the color information, and wider context. Chem cams laser, and spectrometers provided composition information. Harrison bears elongated, light-colored crystals in a darker matrix. Some of the crystals are about 0.4 inch in size. Based on composition information, gathered from an array of chem-cam laser shots on Harrison, the elongated crystals are likely feldspars, and the matrix is pyroxene-dominated. This mineral association is typical of basaltic igneous rocks. The texture provides compelling evidence for igneous rocks at Gale Crater, where Curiosity is on a traverse, to reach the lower slopes of Mount Sharp, near the center of the crater. Large-scale crossbedding, in the sandstone of this ridge, on a lower slope of Mars Mount Sharp, is common in petrified sand dunes. The scene combines multiple images, taken with both cameras of the mast camera, mast cam, on Curiosity. It spans from east, at left, to south-southwest. Sets of bedding laminations, lie at angles to each other. Such cross-bedding is common, in wind-deposited sandstone of the U.S. southwest. This approximate true color image, taken by the panoramic camera, on the Mars Exploration Rover Opportunity, shows the impact crater known as Endurance. Scientists are eager to explore Endurance, for clues to the Red Planet's history. The crater's exposed walls provide a window to what lies beneath the surface of Mars, and thus what geologic processes occurred there in the past. While recent studies of the smaller crater, nicknamed Eagle, revealed an evaporating body of salty water, that crater was not deep enough to indicate what came before the water. Endurance may be able to help answer this question, but the challenge is getting to the scientific targets. Most of the crater's rocks are embedded in vertical cliffs. Rover planners are currently developing strategies to overcome this obstacle. Endurance is roughly 130 meters across. This scene shows NASA's Curiosity Mars rover at a location called Winjana, where the rover found rocks containing manganese oxide minerals, which require abundant water and strongly oxidizing conditions to form. In front of the rover, are two holes from the rover's sample collection drill, and several dark-toned features that have been cleared of dust. These flat features are, 
erosion-resistant fracture fills containing manganese oxides. The discovery of these materials suggests the Martian atmosphere might once have contained higher abundances of free oxygen than it does now. This 360-degree panorama of a location, called Teal Ridge, was captured on Mars by the MAST camera, or MASTCAM, on NASA's Curiosity rover. By driving up the side of Teal Ridge, the rover was able to reach rocks, from the second of three subunits, within the clay-bearing unit, that are exposed in a valley-like region of Mount Sharp, which Curiosity is ascending. 